video i'm going to show you how to use smart scout now the two apps that i use for online arbitrage is smart scout and tactical arbitrage okay but you can use smart scout by itself and you know find products like do the whole process without needing tactical arbitrage but tactical arbitrage is that extra kind of and then when you mix the both like it's like michael jordan and scotty pippen it's like michael jordan goes out there finds the product Tactical Arbitrage goes in there and scans it and finds it on other, you know, websites on the web. And then, you know, from there, you're able to find what products have a price discrepancy and products that you can end up selling. All right. But usually I will break down Smart Scout in a lot of different, you know, mini videos. But today I'm just going to do one whole video and explain every single feature you need to know about on Smart Scout and how to navigate everything. That way, you know, it is easier to digest. All right. So first, let's talk about uh, the products. Okay. Product filters. All right. And so product filters are good when trying to find a potential online arbitrage product. So right here, the first category, we have Amazon in stock rate. So Amazon in stock rate, basically what that is, is, is. And I appreciate all the people telling me that they love like how the training is structured, like how it's so laid back. It's, you know, not extra at all. It's very digestible. That is my goal. I'm not trying to sound super crazy smart and I'm just trying to, you know, teach you the method, teach you the clear cut proven strategy that is proven to work time after time after time. All right. Let me delete this. Just delete that get that off my whiteboard all right so Amazon in stock right is basically how much what percentage of this product does Amazon have in stock that is what it is Here's the thing about Amazon. You never want to compete with Amazon. It is Amazon's platform. So when you compete with them, they're going to give themselves buy box. So let's say, you know, here's buy box. So you have the add to cart button. You have the buy now. You have traffic constantly coming in to the product page. Same way that you buy, right? Like when you buy from Amazon, do you ever... Let's click the speaker. Random speaker. Right. So do you ever real life scroll down and click this or click like, no, you never do that. You click this at the car by now. And as you can see, it says ships from Amazon sold by Amazon. That is how you know what method they're doing. Are they doing private label? Are they doing uh, online arbitrage or is this wholesale? Okay. Because if this was a, like a FBA product, it'll say ships from Amazon sold by X and X company. So let me show you an example of that. Uh, number of FBA sellers three. Let me show you an example. You see, it says ships from Amazon sold by ritual zero proof whiskey. Now here's also two. You have to realize that some of these products are private label. If you remember, private label is where a company buys a product from the manufacturer from China, slaps their logo on it, and sells it on Amazon, and they're actually trying to build a brand. With online arbitrage, we're not trying to build no brand. We're just trying to sell brands that are already selling and we're trying to buy low and sell high. Okay, we're trying to do arbitrage, all right? And so you also gotta remember that, right? So if like at the top right here, if it says, you know, ritual zero proof whiskey, and then it's sold by ritual zero proof, nine times out of 10, that is the brand themselves. And you have to realize that when the brand themselves are selling the product, you don't wanna compete against them. They're doing private label. Okay, let me show you an example of what it looks like with a lot of FBA sellers. I would have normal probably own like 700 FBA. Are you kidding me? But like, 
this book. And I think it's like that with books because they're probably selling like one a piece. Like they have one unit in with the book. All right, it's not a good example. Let's not include books. Let me do. And when Smart Scout, you can set filters for everything. You can come in here and set the filters. All right, I'm gonna show y'all how to set filters. But right now, I'm just trying to show y'all what it looks like on the Amazon dashboard. So let's say a max of 15 sellers. A minimum of three. There we go. There, that, that nine hundred thousand. That means there are nine hundred thousand like profit opportunity. All right. This I don't know. Arts and craft, whatever this is, right? It's doing a lot of money per month. Sold by Amazon though. You can see Amazon has ninety eight percent of buy box. Ninety eight percent of buy box. See, without this training, you would just go sell products like this and not know Amazon has 98% of buy box. Most people out there are competing with Amazon on listing. That's why my students go crazy and I have the number one course in the world because like, the way other people teach it will have you out here competing with Amazon. You're not going to beat Amazon. Amazon is going to take all these sales. All right. But let's look at this product. Man, the way I, I, I could go on a rant, but like the way other people are teaching it, you will literally like, like go, uh, go watch another video of somebody else teaching this and you'll be like, wow, they're doing so much more work. Um, like there is no possible way to get faster results than the way I'm teaching you. Like no possible, like, there has to be a software or something to be able to get fast results because the way I'm doing it with the product filters and the brand, I'm scraping all the data from Amazon. I'm taking out the losers. And then from there with the losers, I'm going to scan it to find the winners. Okay. To find where I can find a cheaper price. So I'm like dealing and filtering a lot of data. All right. But you can see right here on the side, it has a different, a lot of different sellers. You can see what percentage of buy box they have. All right. I can click on this right here. So you can see right here, the brand is, I don't even know how to say that. And I'm not going to try to say it act like I do. Right. All right. But the little led bulb lights, right? You can see right here. It says ships from Amazon sold by this assertion. Okay. That's a whole different, that is nine times out of 10, a wholesaler or somebody doing online arbitrage. Okay. And so with Amazon and stock rate, Traffic's coming in. People are trying to buy. We have the add to cart button. Buy now. Then we have the sellers that are actually on the listing. So let's say if it's you, me, and Amazon, big Amazon. What's going to happen? Amazon is going to give themselves like 80% of all the sales. Me and you are going to split 10. 10 a piece. So that means if 10 sales come in, Amazon is going to get eight. We're going to get one a piece. Facts. Big facts. Like, that's exactly what's happening. Let's go back. Ooh, I love Smart Scout. All right. That's exactly what's happening with this. Hey, look, Amazon got 95% of buy box. They are killing this man. He is only getting 2% of buy box. Okay. That is the percentage of the sales. The sales come in, that is the percentage of sales that you get. The percentage. All right. 2%. So what do we do? Well, all that being said, what do we do? We set this to a minimum of 15%. I am not going to sell a product unless Amazon has less than 15% of this product. I am not going to deal with 100% Amazon in stock rate. No, sir. Number of sellers, right here. Number of sellers, right? And you can do this filter with any category. You can plug categories in here. I really don't, okay? Because um, I don't care what I sell as long as I'm ungated, which you can find out easily before you even try to sell the product. It's going to tell you, like, uh, you're good to sell or it's gonna say request approval then when it says request approval it's gonna ask 
if you it's gonna like if it instantly approves you, you instantly approve. If it's gonna ask for an invoice of a product in that category, I got you. I got the I got the game on that. All right, I'm not to get you ungated. But right now we're focusing on this. I know like I kind of switch a lot, but we're focusing on this right now. So 15% Amazon in stock rate and then monthly revenue, right? Because I don't care about the units being sold, right? I don't want to put something for you know number of units sold. I want to look at monthly revenue. So let's do products that are doing anywhere from twenty-five thousand to your. Let's say you're starting off, you're going to do twenty-five thousand to hundred thousand. Now I'm gonna tell you this: the products that are doing a million, two million, three million, four million per month, you're gonna need brand authorization to sell those type of products because they are big brands. Those are big brands like Dell. Apple, Microsoft, Sony, like huge brands, you can sell them. They do have, you know, um, a couple products on there with FBA sellers, but you really do need brand authorization. And brand authorization is you reaching out to Sony, you reaching out to Xbox, or you going to one of the distributors and getting an invoice and, you know, selling the product. And then once, uh, once you know Amazon reaches out to you and say, "Hey, are you allowed to sell this product?" You can do it. As well as some brands like Nike are gated, um, like like I just explained, big brands, right? So also too, when you buy from a supplier, let's say you buy from a supplier, you could buy ten units from a Sony supplier, ten units, and let's say these units are ten dollars a piece. So you spend a hundred dollars. What you could do is then send that invoice. Put it inside of Amazon, and then from there it gets you ungated. All right, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about when I do like a little ungated video. All right, my little uh, EE distributor sauce. You feel me? All right, number of sellers: minimum of three, maximum of ten. Okay, boom. We got nine thousand products. All right, now what we're looking at from here. What I want to do is I want to see, do these products sell for a lower price? And so what I like to do is if the Bob, I like to look at the buy box price, 167, and I want to do a rough estimate. And so I can assume that 167 to make profit on this, I'm going to need to buy at 40% of the selling price, 40% of the selling price. To be able to make profit. That is the rule for y'all. So I'm gonna do 167 times 0.4. No, 0.4. I get $66. All right. Now, well, let me do that again. Wait, 167. <clears throat> My bad. Reverse that. Cause I want 40% off basically. I'm trying to find this product for 40% off to be able to make profit. And so you want to do 167 times 0.6 and you get $100. So I want to look for this product for $100. What you do, you can do this manually, right? Um, click this, hit control, click search, image, and Google Lens on the side right here. You're gonna be able to see all the places where you could get this product. Now, I don't know if this is the same product. Hold on, two. Let me see something. See, this is, that's what I'm saying. Also, too. You gotta know, you gotta be like aware. Awareness is key. Like, all right, so this is Baby Mouse Paper Bag Books One through Nine, right? And so this is just book one. So don't think that you're getting a crazy deal. You're finna make a 200% ROI. No, make sure that the titles match. You can always scroll down and get the UPC as well. Walmart should have the UPC. Let me see. Uh, what y'all doing without the UPC? 
All right, Walmart doesn't have the UPC on this product for one particular. I don't know, maybe because it's a bug. But make sure you look at <laughs> the title, okay? All right. And so that was just for that one. What I could do is do it again. All right, that's that's what it's going for on Walmart. But one, and you can see the prices at the top as well. So you don't even have to click. You can see the prices at the top as well. And so if I know this is book one through nine, automatically off rips. If I don't see nothing and it is at least a hundred dollars, I know that it is not the same type of package uh, that I'm looking for with this book. All right. And so I would just move on. And plus, that was a book. That's not a good one. Let's let's find another product. All right. Let's do this one. Let me get the ace in there. At the top. This video is gonna be long, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Cause we're going over everything. Oh, uh, why did the ASIN work? What's going on? Oh, it's because I have the filters on. Makes sense. Alright, now. All right, 15 FBA sellers. All right, what I'm gonna do is click on the image. First, let's look at buy box price. So 34, all right, 34 times 0.6. Just like a rough estimate. Really, you could do 0.5 if you want. 0.5, $17, so basically half the price. I'm looking for this product for half the price. All right, click this. Search image from Google Lens. All right. Now we can see the price. So we can see right here, you're getting it for 25, 30, 12, 12.99 right here. All right, let's click this. Let's see what it's talking about. 12.99. Let me click back. Let's click that. Boom. Let's get right. Two bulbs. Oh, say sorry. Hold on. Let me see. Okay, pack of two. Now, here's a good example of like opportunity. Only, only thing, only thing is having awareness. Like it's just knowing like, okay, like common sense. Like, all right, this could be a potential product, most definitely. Thing is like it got one review and it's only one star. And then also too, it's out of stock. All right, it's out of stock. Let me see something. See, I like to do, I'm, I'm going to teach y'all, that's why I like, like, real life not being on the script, just showing y'all that way I can get savvy, because if it's out of stock on Walmart, I'm going to look at the history of the, of this product. Mmm, so it's out of stock on Walmart, but if you look at the price right here, it's been out of stock lately, too. Let me look at the last 30 days. Ah, uh, okay. And so... Walmart might have, might not be an option. Let's keep looking. Search Google Lens. And if you do enough of these, you will find a pro. Okay, we, we got $19. I don't know about uh, maybe. Maybe what, what 34? 19 from Fleet Farm. Alright, let's see what they talking about. We got a pack of two. Okay, got some nice with ten dollars off right now. So if I buy, you know, seventy five, I'm getting ten dollars off right there. I might, I might use that offer, and I might get my little ten dollars off. That kind of, you know, offset the profit for me a little bit, you know. So uh, also too, you want to look to see when you increase quantity, does the price real life go down? 
All right, let me see some. So on Smart Scout, what you got? Let's say I think this product checks out. What I'm gonna do? Nineteen dollars. I'm gonna go to details. Teaching y'all this for the first time. Go to details. All right. I'm gonna copy the ASIN. Uh -uh. Well, I can just copy it from here. I'm gonna copy the ASIN. All right. I'm gonna copy the ASIN. We're gonna go to FBA calculator because we want to make sure we're profitable. So now we got the FBA calculator. And it's gonna tell us how profitable we are. Oh. Um. Oh, got the product right here. How much is it selling for? 30 30 dollars. 30 let's do 34. Ship to Amazon cost. You can put the zero. You can put zero. Cost the product $19. All right, so that is a online arbitrage product right here. Because basically, when it sells for nine, when you get it for nineteen dollars with free shipping, right? Probably throw a little bit of shipping Amazon fee in there. But remember, I told y'all y'all would just add it to your unit price. So let's say your unit price went up to twenty one dollars. All right, and so a little four dollars on twenty one dollars. Which uh, let's see, four divided by twenty one. Nineteen percent ROI. You feel me? 19% ROI. Now, if it was $19 still, it would be 6 on 19. 6 divided by 19. 31% ROI. You see how $2 changed the whole... That's why that 10%, that 10, what, $10 off, that really makes a huge, huge, huge difference. All right? Also, too, what you can do is... When you create your shipment plan, it's going to tell you how much it costs. You can put that in there as well to make sure you're profitable. All right. And so that is how you calculate FBA. Uh, like that's how you basically run through the whole process of finding products. Let me do another one for y'all. From there, if I feel like that's a good product, I'm going to make that call. All right. So let's do the filter. And you can save this filter as well. And so what I would do, three to five, three to three to three to, we can do three to eight, twenty five k, two hundred k. Now you can do twenty five k to two hundred and fifty k. Don't matter. Search. I can save new filter. I can add this filter. Um. Call this online arbitrage. And let's say this is a particular category. I'll put electronics. All right. But it's not. Save. Boom. All right. Let's search. Did we search already? Let's search. Boom. All right. Also, too, if you want a higher ticket product, and let's say you only have a thousand to invest, and you only want to sell, you can sell products that where you would sell only three units and make money. So, for example, very easier, less shipping, all that. And so I can set this buy box price to a minimum of 300. So products that cost more than 300. I got over 741 products I could choose from, all right? Number of FBA sellers, 336. All right, bet. All right, what we do, y'all, we click on this. Command, I mean, control, search through Google Link. Oh, my bad, I skipped a step. First, what we want to do is look at buy box price. Buy box price is three thirty three. All right, we can do 0 0.5, 0 0.6. Let's do 0 0.6. One ninety eight. So I need to find this product for one ninety eight. All right, let's see. Oh, we got it on the side right here. Four hundred three nineteen four. 500. All right, that product don't check out. Boom. Move on to the next one. Let's look at this drill. And sometimes you can just eyeball it. Like when you get good, you can start eyeballing. Like 638, I could just eyeball. Like I'm going to need some that's 400. To be honest, you don't even have to do the calculated thing. You can obviously tell 
if a product is six hundred dollars, all you gotta do is look at the buy box price and you'll be able to know like off off rips and then you can just go in there and do the FBA calculations in real life, figure out, you know? But do the FBA calculations, go in there and do like a rough estimate, and then once you get your prep fee and all that and all your shipping costs and all that, then go back in there and put the real numbers on there, all right? Search image with Google Lens. So I know it's going for 638 on Amazon. 549 right here. 549. Okay, we might be looking at something. 549, 639, 443. See, they plan. Let me see. Let me see. This item is only available in stores. So you a real hustler. Hey, you would check to see where exactly is the store. I would pull up to the store to get this for $4.43 to go sell on Amazon for $6.37. Facts. Big facts. All right. $6.38. All right. Let's see. $7.28. Is this the same? Is this the same thing though? Okay. It'll arrive. Yeah, let me see. Compare. Let's compare. Does this one have like extra feet? 17. Alright, let me see. Does mm. this have the part number? Manufacturer. See, that's that's good information you want to look at. You want to make sure the manufacturer part number, everything matches the same. So let me go see. 17M, 17M, let's go, 17, see look, I don't, I, the part number don't match, this might not be the same product, that might not be the same product, boy, but it's going for cheap though, ooh wee, got my hands on that, alright, that might not be the same product, I don't know, it's the same. Mm -mm. Oh, let me do one more. Oh, sorry, on the side right here. I don't know, y'all. Y'all think that? I don't know. That might be the same product. I wouldn't chance it, though. 549. Uh, so you got to go in the store to get that. I ain't going in the store. See, look, right here. The part number matches that part number that was on Amazon.com, the 336, the 363. So, okay. But y'all get the point of, like, you, you just go through there and do that, right? You go through there and do that. Once you find a product you want, okay, bet. What, what's the FBA calculator looking like? All right, bet. I want to move forward. I'm going to purchase this product, get it sent to a prep center. Let me set the prep center up. Boom, we ready to sell, okay? That is how you use the product tab. Now, let me show you something else. Now, when you are real life, like finding products that work, what you can do is then you can start getting in your rabbit hole because you're like, okay, this is an online arbitrage product. Guess what? You got all oh, y'all are online arbitrage products as well. Hold on, let me go to what? Oh, okay. You're ninety eight percent FBA champion vendors. All right, let me go. What What are you selling? Oh, you like to sell tools? Okay. Boom. Same process. It don't stop. I'm gonna search Google Lens. Also, you get Smart Scout free thirty days. So use that. All right, see. This kid is a lot. 23,000. How much? Let me look at the details on this product. It's going for $2,000 right now. And then don't it don't it's doing 60,000. Look at the rank, y'all. Like like let's just look look at the rank. 162,000 rank, but like it's 
doing 60K. That's how you know tools and home improvement going crazy with the sales. All right. So it's going for 2K. I got my price right here. All right. Let's look on the side. All right. 2K. Uh, no, 2K. Uh, 2K. Like Amazon, the cheapest price. No, I know no, two. All right, let's go back to let's go back to uh, championship vendors. Let's see what else you got, my brother. Also, too, what you can do, you can get saucy. You start looking at what brands is he selling the most of. All right, he's selling these little sinks. Okay, control. Search for Google Lens. Where do you get? Where can you get this sink from? How, wait, how much is the sink? I'll be skipping the step. How much is the sink going for on Amazon for? Five ninety six. Five ninety six. Four seventy one. See, that's what there might be some right there. Four seventy one. Alright, I'm looking at I'm seeing the 471. 471. Let's click on that. What, what, what's that talking about? 471. Alright. See more detail. Let me see some. I gotta I gotta I gotta scope it out. Okay. Alright. Product. Yeah, Y'all give me a little too much info. I don't care about sinks that much. I just need the numbers that I need. I need the UPC. Where's the UPC? Or the product number. They, they got guides and stuff. I ain't trying to. I don't need the guides. All right. So I don't, I don't have you. I'm just have to eyeball. Real life. Eyeball. Delta pull down kitchen faucet magnetic docking spray head. Who made that title? That go oh, crazy. Delta faucet brushed nickel spray head. This product is doing ninety five thousand a month. Click. I don't know. This I think this is the same product, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I think this is the same product. This is the same product. And it's going for 615, 471. It's the same product. Same product. Alright, so that's the online arbitrage product right there. This is this is the coldest method, y'all. I'm telling y'all. All right, but it get even colder. <laughs> Next video get even colder. All right, let's go here. I'm gonna go to FBA calculator. All right. Um, how much I'm getting this product? Four seventy one. How much is it selling for? Six thirteen on Amazon. Six fifteen on Amazon. Boom. Ooh, I don't think that profit that much. I ain't gonna lie. All right, thirty eight dollars on four seventy. I ain't even gonna do the math on that. Yeah, that's like 8% return on investment. That's too low, too low, too low. We try to do 20% minimum. But y'all kind of get the, you know, the workflow of how this works, right? You have it on the side. You got the prices. You can eyeball it, really. Most of y'all really be able to eyeball to see if it's an opportunity there or not, all right? So that is basically how you use the products. And then when you find a product, look at the sellers. All right, another one you can use for online arbitrage because you know, SmartScale has features for all different types of 
like private label or whatever. Private label, retail, wholesale. But here's how I use it for online arbitrage, right? And so what you can do is you can go to the sellers tab. You can look at sellers that's doing 25,000 to 100,000. Nine times out of 10, these are your other online arbitrage sellers. Full brand coverage, no full brand coverage. Number of ASIN does not matter. We're gonna do another filter, all right? And so we got, it is crazy. People say you can't make money off Amazon. Like there are literally 60,000 people doing more than 25,000. There are 60,000 people doing 25,000 to 100,000. 60,000 people. How many? Let's just do, this is 100,000. There are over 35,000 people doing 100K a month for Amazon. Crazy. Crazy. But that's besides the point. All right. And so what you can start doing is brand selling. If we're looking for online arbitrage sellers, we want to do the minimum of brands they're selling because to do a lot, like to do that much revenue, if you're on the arbitrage, you got to sell more than like, let's say 15 brands. All right. So we got sellers that are doing 15 brands and then percentage of FBA, we want to do at least 95% FBA. So we got 400 different sellers. All right. What you can do is one, you can make a new collection. With every product, I mean, I didn't, I didn't explain this, right? With every product you find that it is a good fit, you can add, you can make a new collection and you can name online arbitrage leads or products. And you can just over time, every time you get it to SmartScout, you can keep adding and adding and adding and adding, all right? And so when I go to my collections, I have that right here and I can look to see. And really, if you want to get real saucy with it, what I recommend you doing is go on here and just adding a new collection and just naming it online arbitrage, period. Because what you can do is you can start adding suppliers, I mean not supply, other sellers, products, brands, all that inside of this one collection. So when you click this, it has sellers, products, subcategories, brands. So what you can do is go back to the sellers tab like we were doing, 25K to 100K. All right. Total percentage of FBA. All right, brand selling, a minimum of 15. I'm sorry I just getting a little boring, but at the same time, this is how we make the money. All right. And so now we can look at businesses and see what bit like what, what they're selling. And so you always want to look at the top product they're selling. And I want y'all to peep this too. This company's doing 100K in revenue per month. But if you look, they're not selling 100K in one product. They have many different products that they are selling on Amazon. Okay? I want y'all to know that. All right? I go to details. Hold on, not details. We don't do that. All right. Click control. Wait, let me eyeball price. Yeah, I have to go to details. Details, buy box price is $31. All right. Um, $31, $27, $19.99. Uh, 
If I get a lowered in 1999, I'm happy. Twelve dollars. You have to also decide, like, do you real life want to order from like this website? Don't even look that. Like before you buy from a website like this, always search up reviews of like the website looks like I don't know, real life, real like Shopify and looks like a Shopify. Like, I don't know. I don't know about that product. But let me see, let's go to details. Search with Google Lens. Going from 179, 179, 180, 50. I don't believe that. 109. Let me see. Uh, KTS 125. Uh, what's the dimensions on this one? 125 flat iron. Oh, it's out of stock. Okay. Let's keep looking. 109. 1999. 119. All right, also, too, when you order from a site, like make sure they're in the US, too. Okay, so it says wholesale accounts available. This is online arbitrage. I wish I could show y'all wholesale. Um, but they got this product for 119. And it's going on there from 179. And so if I do quick, quick, quick maths, uh, all right, all right, 179. And then cost of product 119. So you make it 27. You make it approximately $27 on 119. So I'll do my calculator. 27 divided by 119. 22% ROI. Just depends. It depends on like how much shipping gonna cost as well as um let me see something let's go back to this product go to products like does my that it really matters does my unit price go also too uh you want to look at like this product ain't even selling that much like i wouldn't sell this product but the numbers probably work but i wouldn't sell this product for 14 uh monthly so like that's not enough. Also, too, how consistent is the price? The price is consistent. It's at one seventy nine, one eighty, consistently. It's just the uh, monthly revenue ain't there. All right. And so let me show y'all. Um, that is basically like how you real life use the sellers tab. Twenty five thousand, two hundred thousand, or twenty five thousand to a quarter mil per month. When you go in there, look for FBA, set the minimum to 95% because that's what we do. From there, number brand selling, a minimum of 15 brands. That means they switch it up, they're not private label. And then from there, um, see I need to do my 25,000 to 25, then search. If I find, like, when I do this search, because we got to redo it, 95, selling more than 10 brands, 15 brands. Now, honestly, like, the more minimum you set with the brand selling, 
that lets you know that they are real life online arbitrage, okay? And so I click this, I click offers. All right. They got a hundred percent buy box on these products. They, you you want to avoid when they got a hundred percent of buy box. Like that ain't really. You want it to where, like for example, like no, not brand coverage. All right, for example, let me show you. This is how you know if it's an online arbitrage product as well because I'm gonna show y'all. So y'all see right here how with this product he's doing 10,000 per month but it's only 2% of sales. That lets you know that this is an online arbitrage type product, okay? Because that means that there are other sellers getting that other percentage of buy box but this product is still doing a lot of revenue, okay? And so what I'm gonna do versus like when we seen the other seller where and if I do some investigation, I could probably like see like I ain't gonna say he sells his own brand, but with this one, you can tell he, he has all the buy buy. Like I, I'm gonna avoid that, right? So let's go back to little online store and let's look at we were looking at this product. So let's go to details. 34 FBA sellers, Johnson & Johnson is doing 38, I mean 386,000 per month. What I'm gonna do is control, search, buy box price is $20. Okay, we're key finding this product for cheaper, 25, 15, 19, 14, Fourteen. If I can see, like, like if you see it's four, if you get anything below fourteen dollars, you're good. Okay. All right. So this product don't check out, and so what we would do is just move on to the next product, right? So he has five percent of buy box on this product. Let's click details. 23 FBA sellers. So this is an FBA seller, most definitely. He's just like us. All right. $24 is buy box price. It's not showing up the price for Kirk and Signature. Also, Kirkland Signature works with a lot of brands. And so that is basically, like I, I wasn't able to find something, but y'all basically get what I'm saying. And then also too, let's say if this was a product that's, um, you know, arbitrage good, okay, I just look at the sellers as well. And so I can add these sellers to online arbitrage as well as I can add this product, okay? All right. Last thing, what you can do is do brand searches, all right? And so right here, Amazon and stock rate 15%. Average selling price. Now, a little trick I like to do is I can make the average selling price $100, right? Average size of a product. This is measured in cubic feet, right? Let me show you. Cubic feet. And so if I want a high ticket product, because they do take an FBA fee, and I want the lowest FBA fee, what I would do is I would do 0 0.8, 0 0.8. And I want the brand to be doing 25K in revenue at least. And I don't want a brand that's too big to where like I can't you know come sell it. And then the average number of FBA sellers, I want a brand that at least has three FBA sellers on order list. Very, very specific search. 400 brands popped up. Bad. Boom. So what I could do, I could click this and go to their products. Have we looked at this product before? I want to say we, we looked at this exact product <laughs> through this training. Let me see. 
Okay. Now, with the tie through arbitrage method, I'm sure it, it makes this way quicker, but it, it's honestly the same thing. So it's going for 330. See, now. And plus, that, that company only has one product. All right. And so I could go through here. It's doing a lot of revenue, has, you know, two FBA sellers. Maybe this could be a potential product. Click details. From there, I can search Google Lens. I can see the price 169, 169, 200. Okay. 109. So I see right here, this product is 109, this product is 89, 109, 109, I like that 109, where did it go, this is the 109, and so hearing enhancing radio, okay. Okay. Mm. So what I'm doing right now is trying to see if this is a the exact same product. Eyeballing it, I would say it is the exact same product. What I would probably do if I really wanted to see is I will contact them and say this product in real life, contact them and ask them for the UPC of this product to make sure that it is 100% correct, okay? All right, and so basically, that is how you use Smart Scout to the extent I showed you now. In the next video, I'm really gonna show you how to use Smart Scout to the point to where you can download an Excel sheet of all the products from there import them into tactical arbitrage and then from there scan to see what products best fit all right but as far as the breaking down products uh, uh let me uh, seller map so wherever you're located at they have seller map as well inside of smart scout and so let's say if you live in i don't know north carolina no i don't know north carolina let's scroll out I want to do North Carolina. Let's say you live in LA. And so what you can do is zoom in to LA. No, no, hold on, this thing's fighting me. All right, zoom in, LA. And what you could do is you could click this and do 25,000 to 250,000. And so you can find all the sellers in your area that are doing that. And nine times out of 10, you can look and see what percentage they are FBA, 100% FBA. And then you can also see what their products is. And so this company is Frontier Bulb. They have Hold on, let's go back to product details. This product is doing 8,000 per month. And let's see, it's going for $79. $59 right here. Sold out. Okay. $62. And so that 50, that's why, you know, it's a lot of people doing online arbitrage because real life, if that product was available, that's an online arbitrage product for you, okay? But that is how you can use Seller Map, all right? And that is basically it for Smart Scout. Um, 
for online arbitrage and I'm gonna teach y'all how to use tactical arbitrage as well with Smart Scout to you know how that Michael Jordan Scotty Pippen effect. Alright. Don't last thing, don't forget to add stuff to your collection. It helps you work faster. When you find a product you want, add it to collection. When you find a brand that's like on like online arbitrage brands, like a, like a brand that has a lot of products that deal with online arbitrage, add it to your collection, okay? Alright y'all.